my channel. This is another video that I have been planning to doing for you guys. And I decided to do a look that had a red tone to it. So pink, red, burgundy, um, in that style. And so if you want to see how it turns out, then keep on watching. To start with, I'm going in with some Elsie Glow Enhancer just to give my skin a bit of a glow and then I will be applying it to my face. This also helps my skin to reduce the oiliness especially on my nose. Today I will be using the Elsie Cosmetics Pearl Radiance Primer. Today I will be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I'm in the shade 2.0. To furthermore enhance the glow, I will also be taking some of my I will be taking some of my three drops of the skin enhancer into the foundation as well, and I will be mixing this. Actually, I think I will be trying something new today. I have the custom enhancer drops from Cover FX. I have this little sample size of the enhancer drops in the shade Moonlight. I'm adding two drops to the foundation and I will be mixing it all together to see if it makes any difference at all. And I will be going in with a damp beauty blender. Let's just go with it. Pretty. Then we will be going in with some concealer. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer in the color Light. I'm just adding that underneath my eyes to highlight. And the cupid's bow, a bit of my chin between my brows. And down the nose. As you can see, it really lightens up the face, the under eyes, lifting the face. I will be going in with my favorite bronzer, cream bronzer. It's the Soleil de Ten de Chanel and it's a bronze universal makeup base. I will be going in with my Sigma Ankle Kabuki F84. So I will just be warming up my face. I'm not going for that strong contour. I'm just looking to add some warmth and dimension to my face so I'm just stippling it in if I start rubbing it it will move my base underneath so that's why I always stipple it into the skin and once you apply it and blend it into the skin it become it becomes like a powder instead so it has a powdery finish once it dries and then I will be going in with my RCMA No Color Powder. For this I will be going in with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35. So I will just be... The same goes here, you tap it into the skin. So you won't move the base underneath. Just tap it. And I will be applying this everywhere that I apply my concealer. I will apply a bit more on the nose because I tend to get oily 
and this will absorb the oils coming through my foundation and my primer and my concealer so that's an important step to me once I've done that I will be going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder I have no cap on it right now cuz my RCMA powder is in the cap so no cap on it right now but I will be using this to set the rest of my face and I will be using my Morphe E3 to set my entire face again the same as before tapping it into the skin then I will be going in with a blush I have this the palette where I collected a few of the Makeup Geek um, blush pans and I think I'll be going in with this color right here it's called Love Letter I'm taking my Morphe E4 it's an angled brush and I will be dipping it I will be dipping it into my blush and just tapping up the excess and then I will be applying it very lightly because they can be very pigmented and you don't want to apply too much from the start so make sure to be gentle start on the apples of your cheek and bring it outwards very lightly don't push the product too hard just let the brush do the work Just to make sure there's no very visible difference between my the rest of my face and my blush, I'll be going in with the powder brush, just tapping on top, make sure that it blends in. Just to warm up the skin a bit more, I will be going in with the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers, and I will be using the Milk Chocolate Soleil right here. And I will be going in with the Natasha Denona number 20 brush. I will just lightly apply it to the perimeter of my face. If you prefer the, mo the more structured contour, sharp contour, you can use, I have a bit of the RCMA powder in here. And I will just be taking my beauty blender, it's still damp. And I'm just going like this. And this will clean up your contour or bronzer. Like so. I will be doing like this a bit and it will highlight as well. I personally don't like when it's too sharp. The longer it's on, the more visible the line will be. So I brush off almost immediately. I will be going in with the same Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight that we mixed into the foundation. I'll be going in with a mini beauty blender, this one is damp, and I will just lightly tap it in to the highlighting drops and I will just be bouncing this in to my skin, just get that hair out. I'll quickly do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. So I just quickly did my brows off camera and now we will be starting on the eye makeup. I'm starting off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And I will be applying this all over the lid. I'm using my Soft Blend Concealer Brush from Sigma, the F64 for this. Just tapping it in. 
this will make the eyeshadow more pigmented once you apply it and it will also help it last longer. Then I will be going in with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 again. This will make the eyeshadow easier to blend. I will be going in with the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette, the Holy Grail Palette. And I'll start off by using this color Transition. I will be applying that with a fluffy brush from Morphe, the M501. It's really great brush for a very well blended soft application. Just using it in windshield wiper motions and in circular motions to help it blend. Since I have a lot of space from my lashes and to my brows, I'm taking it quite high. Then I will be using the color Bestie right here. And I will be going in with my Sigma E40 brush. Again, going quite high. Same motion since as before. Make sure not to push the brush. Just let it do the work. Just to make sure that they all blended nicely together, I will be going in with the Morphe M501 brush again and just be going over and blending these two shades really well together. Then we will be going in with the Fine and Dine down here. And I'll be using the Sigma E47 Shader Crease Brush. It's really small, so you can be very precise and blend it at the same time. I'm just taking a little bit, tapping off the excess, and I will be placing it a bit higher than where my crease is. Then I'm taking the Sigma E25 and I will be taking the color Teddy Bear to just a bit like so and I will be blending the Wine and Dine Keep it in small circular motions so you won't bring it too high. Going in with the E40 brush again with a bit of the bestie color to help blend the edges. Going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is in NC15. Then I will be taking my Sigma F70 Concealer Brush to apply it. So I'll just take the concealer brush and carve out just along my crease I know it looks crazy then we will be going in with the cranberry splash and I'm taking a MAC 242 to apply this We'll be going in with the teddy bear shade again and the Sigma E25 and I'll just be dipping it into the shadow and just lightly tapping it on the outer corner. Just 
just to deepen it a bit. Then I'll be taking a clean blending brush. This is the MAC 217 and I'll just be blending this bit upwards. Making sure that it's blended into the rest of the shadows. And then I'll be going into the teddy bear, same brush. Making sure to connect the shadows on the outer corner. Then I'm just taking the MAC 217 brush and just blending it together. Then I'm taking the color crystal right here and I will be going in with the Dose of Colors pencil brush and applying that as a inner corner highlight. Whoa. And I'll also be taking the Thanks a Latte, same brush, and I will be using the same Thanks a Latte. just underneath my brow then I'll be going in with the Maybelline drugstore cream gel eyeliner and I'll be using my Sigma EO6 winged liner brush Then I'll be going in with the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner in the color Obsidian, the black one. And I'll just be tight lining all the way around my lash line. And I'll be going on my lower lash line as well. Then I'll be taking my Sigma F15 flat definer brush and I'll just use it to smudge out the eyeliner just on the outer part and I'll just be taking the teddy bear shade on the same brush and just smudging them together. Then for mascara, I'll be taking my favorite, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'll also be going in with some Violet Voss lashes. This is the style I, DGAF, with their premium lashes, and they are very dramatic. So fitting for the look I think it's that. and I will be using the house of lashes lash glue I'm taking my house of lashes lash applicator for the lips I'll be using a this is the only reddish dark lip liner I have so it's the infallible L'Oreal infallible lip liner in this shade 
what's it called? Always Plum. And I will be going in with the Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipstick in the shade Blood Moon from LA Splash. Like this. I just went in with the LA Splash um, Studio Shine Lip Luster in the color Lady on top of the other one just to give it a bit more red and I will be finishing off with the Ofra Mega Fixer That's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching and that you like it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see what else I have coming up on my channel. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye. can get away a bit of beep. I can you should be uh. I'll also be going in with some violet boss uh, I'll also be going in with blah, 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 blah.